of Students in Education, let's talk about books. January is National Book Month. We also recognize January is a month of new beginnings for many people. And here at Faith and Friends, we'd like to encourage you to start a new habit if it's not something you're already doing, and that is to read your Bible every day. Well, this month we're going to give you some Bible reading tips to help you with your journey. You can find these tips on our website as well. And here is tip number one. Get your pen out. Remove distractions. And we realize there are some great Bible apps on your phone, and these days a smartphone is a good option for looking up a verse, but for your daily Bible reading time, get this, Andy, you might want to hear this, we recommend no distractions. That means no phone, no TV, no tablet. You know, some people do like to share what they're learning on social media sites, and that's great. But set aside a small period of time where it's just you, your Bible, and God. No distractions. Can it recommend a verse of the day to me? Can the Bible? I guess you can just open it That's and read. God, I do like God the verse can of the do day amazing things parts. through by doing that. You're right about that. Yeah, but I do like the verse of the day that comes up, and my son and I always like to read that in the morning, so it's, mm -hmm. that's a fun thing. But you're right. It is so important just to turn everything off and, and get away. Tip number two, choose a regular time for reading. Force yourself to stick with it. That's the hard part. For some, it'll be first thing every morning. It's a great way to start your day if you can get up early enough and just focus there. For others, it's the latest thing or well, the last thing before bed, find a time each day you can sit down and focus and then discipline yourself to not sway from your plan. Very important. So you remove distractions, set aside time. Tip number three, begin and end your reading time with prayer. Ask God to prepare your mind and your heart for what you're about to read and that you would do more than just read the scripture but would absorb what they have to say. The Bible says the word of God is living, breathing, sharper than a double-edged sword. Pray that God brings the Bible to life for you in a brand new way. Remember, look for these tips on our website, and we'll have more tips for you next week as well.